I'm Bradford. I'm Grant. And we're getting married in May. I very distinctly remember a point in my life where I was fantasizing about a wedding because it's not, you know, like, <laughs> boys fantasize about it too, like, it's, and I certainly did. And I wanted the whole, I wanted the wedding that we're having, but I remember this very distinct moment thinking about it and saying, well, that's never going to happen, so don't waste your time fantasizing about something that's never going to happen. So use that, use that headspace to fantasize about other things. So I remember very distinctly putting the idea of me getting married away because it was never going to happen. And my brother-in-law is Ugandan, mm -hmm. and that was a very definite point of their marriage was stopping and recognizing that years ago this was not allowed for this white woman to marry this very, very black, beautiful man. And at her wedding, she passed out these white ribbons that were a stand for marriage equality. Because um, I was her man of honor in her wedding. And she was like, I want you to be standing next to me. And a very clear moment where we recognize the fact that people in the room right now celebrating this beautiful marriage aren't allowed access to the same institutions and how unfair that is. Mm -hmm. Have really nicely fit into history with oh. going through the referendum and election, being engaged, and then being able to get married. Mm -hmm. It feels very, very strange to be a young gay man and to be 25 getting married and not like so many of our like older gay friends that have been together for decades and have gotten married in New York or mm. gotten married in California and then it was illegal mm. or have had different life commitment ceremonies and we're just kind of able to really like this is the time that matches for us and it's very strange and amazing that mm. it was correct for Washington and once we had our engagement rings on, we're like, this kind of makes this feel real in ways mm -hmm. that we never, like, thought that a wedding ring was important. Totally, and but I love mine. Yeah. I, love, I, put, I was like, totally. I, I was like, I'm not gonna wear a wedding ring. Like, I don't like jewelry. I don't like things on my hands. I put it on. And I, I freak out when I don't have it on now, and it's such a yeah. warm feeling. And I like, I have it. I tinker with it. I love the way it feels. I love looking at it. I love thinking about it. It's yeah. It's it's just you always you go, huh. I also used to think that marriage was like, if I get to a certain point, and when I'm successful and when I'm set, then I'll get married. But then I started realizing that marriage is, a, people like, I think that relationships build to this point and then you get married and, the, and then what? And with Grant, I started realizing that really what marriage is, is it's the beginning of everything. And that is so exciting and so amazing. And I, um, I realized that it is, um, no, it's it's the very beginning, and that's super incredible. I mean, it's just, yeah, I still call I still call Grant my boyfriend or the man I'm going to marry. Oh, uh, if I want you to do something, I'll call you husband. Husband, and then husband. I'm I'm really. But yeah. then you're very quick to tell me that no. that has not happened. That has yet. not happened yet, and I'm superstitious, and I get really like I'm like no, that is husband to be, because yeah, I just get <laughs> superstitious.